I have booted my core graphics. I like that, uh, you know, it has this thing, even though there's no card there. That's a cool, neat touch. And of course, this has the, um, the glossy finish you can see. And I just used my own HDMI. There is one included in the box here. And this is nice. I like that there's a long cord. There's a long cord here. It's about, I don't know, it's really long though. I don't know how many feet long it is, but if you see, it looks this. You might have to tape it down. It kind of reminds me of um, when I had the P PS TV. It's so small, but uh, you know, you can just plug it into your USB slot on your TV, easy. And then the thing that's, you know, it's a nice touch they added this, but this is the cover from back here, uh, but you know, just in, where are you gonna put this? I just put it back in, my, in the box. And another kind of, I go here, you know, uh, I like this layout and it does, like other people have said that when you put a card in, it has the exact like, like if for instance, you put this, uh, let's see, Salamander for instance, you put it in, and has a click, nice clicky sound to it, which is really nice. So, uh, and then some other, you know, quirks. Uh, you have to press, you select and run so that you can go back because it has the save state. And then it even has this uh, touch. I didn't get this with my core graphics too. You have to pay, you have to get it as sold separately, which is, uh, backup, you're supposed to plug in the back of your core graphics or PC Engine, whatever, uh, or core graphics too. So that's for saving, and they included that nice touch there. The people don't know what that is, but that's the reason why. And then you go to return the menu, and then I don't, I'm not familiar with the music though. I wish, like, I'm familiar with Bonk's Adventure, that would have been a cool music soundtrack behind this thing, but I'm not familiar with the sound. Does anyone know? I don't, I'm familiar with the, the sound in the back here. Like when you plug in the NES Classic, uh, it has that feel like nostalgia, 80s and a, like a Mario kinda, I don't know, but this one I'm not familiar with. But this is nice, it shows, you know, the all the core graphics. You can change that logo to PC Engine if you want. And like, for instance, like people said, like it sounds, you can see, you can hear the spinning of the CD. Let's really hear it. Yeah, you can hear it. That's pretty cool. So, and it says, this is a wallpaper PC engine. You can change your own, but yeah. I like the nice touches. This is, I think this is one of my favorite uh, mini consoles. I mean, I don't have uh, I don't have the Sega Genesis Mini yet because I already have the Sega Genesis everything unit, and I grew up with it. And I don't I don't know. I just feel like I already have my nostalgia piece with me. I don't know why I need to get a mini unit of it, but I'm, I might still get it when it goes down in price. But uh, I think it's my favorite mini unit because it has all the stuff that's really cool about it. And uh, this and the. Uh, NES Classic, Super NES Classic, like are the those are the my favorite top three. And so, in order to go to the Turbo Graphics mode, you have to go down here. You have to go down here, and it's where it says Turbo Graphics. It says Select Console. You press that, and you go back to Turbo Graphics 16. There you go, and it comes with. All these, uh, Punk's Revenge is awesome. Ease Book 1 and 2, awesome. Splatterhouse censored version, though. Space Harrier, I don't, never played Psychosis. I've, oh, Ninja Spirit's awesome. Utopia, cool. Military Madness, I never played. JJ and Jeff, which is, I think that in the Japanese, it's Toilet Kids or something like that. I forgot already. And then Chu Manfu. I have Victory Run on my, uh, I have the actual Turbo Chip. But that's cool to have it on here. 
And Power Golf, I don't know why they would include Power Golf. That's an outdated golf game, but for nostalgia, I guess. You know what I wish they put, um, maybe it's on the box, I didn't really pay attention, is, uh, oh boy, that expensive game that everyone, it's hard to, I forgot the name of the game, you know what I'm talking about? It kind of reminds me of, um, it's Lady on a Broomstick. What's the name? Oh, I forgot the name of it. I'm sorry, it's, it's slipping my mind. And people are like, oh, you idiot. You know the name of that blah, 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 that game. But you know what I'm talking about. It's like a really expensive game. So let me see how it looks like when you load a, a Super CD-ROM on here. Oh, cool. I've never seen the American version because the Turbo Duo is so expensive. That's cool. All right, I'll end that and pretty nice. This is a pretty nice package. So they have Bomberman 83, New Adventure Island, Utopia 2. Oh man, what is the name of that? I forgot, but it's not on here, that, that a very expensive game. Maybe it's in the Japanese side. Anyway. Uh, I'll try to look it up and then edit here. Hold on. I, I looked it up. I cheated and looked it up. Magical Chase is not on. Yeah, not on the Turbo Graphics, PC Engine, Mini, or Core Graphics. That would have been nice, but it remains one of the most expensive games on the Turbo Graphics in America, and also it's not cheap in the PC Engine version. Also, another thing I just realized. Uh, Turbo Graphics 16 Mini or whatever, or Pro Graphics Mini, they should have included Keith Courage and Alpha Zones. That game is nostalgic for people who bought the Turbo Graphics 16 because it came bundled with the system back in 1989 or 1990. I can't remember what I think it's 89, 90. But yeah, wouldn't you agree that those two are omissions, are omissions, but it's probably expensive to get the license for Keith Courage and Magical Chase. Anyway, this is a great. Uh, plug-and-play system one of the best I rate it like really high uh, maybe you know like top three between the NES classic this core graphics mini and the super NES classic way better of course than the PlayStation classic I don't have the Sega Genesis mini but uh, I feel that probably be like number four I don't know but maybe when I get it I'll have a better like, I just actually got just got the Neo Geo Mini. I'm going to do a um, showing about that. Uh, I, I held off on buying that because I heard, like, the, all the okay reviews only. But, uh, yeah, I got it for $29.99. Amazon, I don't know, was fire selling them, maybe? But finally got it. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And I think this is a great system. You should pick it up. Uh, and... Yeah, I like do like the core graphics look. It's really nice. I have the core graphics too. Here, I'm going to get it for comparison. Uh, let me just hold on here. Okay, so I have here the core graphics. One, the core graphics one, and then here I have my. Core Graphics 2, and this is the original with a Turbo Everdrive in it. But look at the difference inside. Not, not much, not that much larger actually. I don't know if it's uh, it's really been. I think this. I thought I thought at first that the wording was. I mean the the color I know is different, but I didn't realize that this is much lighter than that. Maybe due to age, it's much lighter. I don't know, but. I don't have a Core Graphics original unit. I just got this instead. Uh, I don't know why they made a Core Graphics. Oh, I think they made the Core Graphics too because they had the CD unit, which is also this. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching again, and until next time. This is what originally was in the back of a Core Graphics, so you have all this unit because you can plug it into the CD unit. And yep. That's it for now. Thanks for watching again. Take care. And you have a good one. And at least this one has two USB ports versus this one single back then. 
And I'll just show you, for instance, really quick, the, I got this used so the thing is already, you know, but it does have, and the difference, of course, aside from the color, uh, the core graphics, yeah, uh, here it is really quick. The same, except of course there's no more NEC. They even had the nice touch of the H, the Hue car, the, the HE here, which is really nice. There's no NEC though, not like uh, back then. Anyhow, that's it. Thanks for watching.